Hi, my name is Kim and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, if you are new, then welcome to my channel. Please do like and subscribe. As titled, today it's an unboxing. And I'm excited about this. Um, I ordered this um, probably about a few weeks ago. And uh, it just came in. So, from the title, you already know what bag it is. But if you're interested and you want to see, keep on watching. Da -da -da -da. Well, let's dig in. I'm excited to see her. I'm not going to be able to see me if I do it that way. This purchase came from Nordstrom Rack. And it is Rebecca Minkoff. Uh, let me set this box down and pull her out. She came in a plastic bag and a dust cover. Now, I was a bit concerned. Um, the measurements were a bit conflicting on Rebecca's site. They were one thing and then on the uh, Nordstrom Rack site it was a different measurements so let's see which one they really were I'm gonna go with Rebecca Minkoff site because this is definitely not 18 inches but it is the Gabby tote and on the Nordstrom site it was 18 inches this way that's not 18 inches I carry enough handbags to know what 18 inches looks like, and that's not it. So this is probably the 13 inch, but I do love it. It is an absolute gorgeous bag. Now, I'm really interested and confused at the same time. That sounds like Safiano. But it looks like Pebble. Now, I don't know if Pebble, not Pebble, if Safiano, usually Safiano is a hatch type texture. It looks more like lines woven the opposite way of each other. But this definitely sounds like Safiano and it feels like Safiano, but the the texture, the look of it, definitely looks like it's pebble. So that's an interesting <laughs> feel for me. It's a gorgeous color, though. I love this almost um, beige-like nude color. Uh, this flap on the front is just for decoration. There's nothing there. There is the oh, excuse me zipper pocket on the front. And let's see how far that goes down. Oh, okay. Pretty good. It goes almost to the end of the bag. Not quite, but right there is where it stops. So that's a nice size pocket. You can put definitely cell phone one or two if you've got a larger cell phone. So that is a great feature. The straps are a very good strap drop right under the arm. I absolutely love that and there is a zipper across the top and that's just part of the design the way the zipper does on each side I really like that and let's dig in the bag and see this is not my first Rebecca Minkoff piece but it is my first Rebecca Minkoff tote Let's get some of this stuffing out of here so we can see it is a nice wide opening and that's kind of what I was looking for. I can either use pouches inside and or 
possibly a purse organizer and that would be able to allow me to section things off a little bit better. There are the two flat pockets on the back wall and then there is one zipper pocket. And I'm curious to see how the zipper pocket uh, on the back wall, the length of that. Oh, and it's the length of the back, so it's there. That's where it goes to. And so that's a nice pocket for the back wall there. I am really excited about moving into her. Like I said, she's just one big opening and an organizer will be amazing in here to just be able to put my things in and get situated. Uh, love the strap drop. And there's just the one pocket and it is functional on the front. This again is just for show. And this is the Gabby Tote by Rebecca Minkoff. I will definitely do a how she carries uh, if you're interested, so please put it in the comments. Uh, this, if anyone has experienced this Saffiano texture pebble leather, <laughs> please put that in the comments as well. This is uh, new to me. I'm a handbag girl and I've got bags in my room and they're kind of everywhere. And I don't have anything that's like this. Everything that I have that's Safiano is, and I'm trying to see if I had something close by, everything that's Safiano is more of a hatch texture versus the pebble. But it definitely does, like I said, it's nice and it's super lightweight. And that's exactly what I was going for. So I am excited. Again, the color is perfect and the opening is exactly what I was shooting for. So, um... Wanted to just share this with you. I knew this would be a quick one. I truly thank you for your support. And if you have a particular video or something you're interested in, please put it in the comments as well. I truly do appreciate your support. And I hope that this week you can, as always, find something to be grateful for. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye.